Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Keith bringing you another episode of A Pastor's Palette. Today's episode, we're going to do just a simple pan seared steak with some garlic and herb butter. Add a little bit of onion, add a little bit of mushroom. We're going to use string beans as our sides and mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to top the mashed potatoes with some garlic and herb butter and a little bit of onion. I've got a pot on the stove for mashed potatoes. It's a couple cups of hot boiling water. I've got a simple frying pan and I've put just about a pinch of garlic in the frying pan with some regular oil. I've got another skillet which I'm going to prepare my garlic and herb butter. And then I've got another small pot in the back with my string beans already cooking. I've chosen two simple steaks, very thick, not much fat on them, but they'll, be, they'll do just fine for pan searing, and you'll see what I mean. I'm only going to use a little bit of salt and pepper, because when you're preparing pan steak, all the flavor actually is within the steak, and it comes within the garlic and herb butter and the onions and everything else that you add to that skillet. So again, just use a little bit of salt and pepper, add a little bit of oil, there's already oil in the skillet, and once you have your steak seasoned, we're going to put it right in the skillet, fry both sides, about equal amount, if you want, medium rare, I'd say fry it for about five minutes each side. If you want it well done, kick that up to about six and a half, seven minutes each side, and we'll be right back. So now that we have our steak seasoned and it's ready to go in the pan, we've got a little bit of garlic and herb butter, we've got some mushrooms, we've got some onions, and when you slice your onion, cut off the top of the onion, cut off the bottom so you get this piece and then this solid piece in the middle. And if you can see it, it's just a, it's a a circular disc. Take the ones from the bottom, take the ones from the top, and then you'll end up with these circular shaped onions, which you'll put right in the skillet, and I'll show you the reason why when I do the twist at the end, and we'll be right back. So as we take each steak and put it in the skillet, you'll hear them start to fry. And the most important thing to remember is not to turn it over for that full five minutes if you want medium rare. You only flip it once, otherwise you're going to lose the flavor. Once you flip it, it's going to seal in the flavor on the first side. It'll flip it, cook on the other side, cook it for the full five minutes. And then you'll get a solid seared, pan seared steak and you'll enjoy it. But if you keep flipping it, it's going to mess your steak up. And as you can see, you've got the steak searing on the first side. There's a pan under the fire ready for your onions. And there's a pan of boiling water already for your potatoes. And once the steak flips, you'll be ready to get all the rest of the ingredients prepared so that we can top the steak and then add the garlic and herb butter the mushrooms and we'll be prepared and ready to plate. Now we have our steak that's been flipped. It's seared on the first side. You've got your mashed potatoes. You've got an onion volcano and you have string beans cooking as well. Now the most important thing about all of the dishes is that they're very simple. Now if you ask my wife, she'll probably tell you that her favorite dish that I cook is probably anything that I do outside on the grill. She has her favorite of baby back ribs or beef short ribs, but anything that I do outside on the grill is her favorite. If you ask my oldest daughter, she's 30 years old, she will tell you that it's, it's my meatloaf and mashed potatoes and corn and string beans and anything I do in that respect, that's my oldest daughter's favorite meal. Now if you ask my youngest daughter, she's 25 years of age, she will tell you that it's any breakfast I do, omelets or scrambled eggs and cheddar or anything that's got to do with breakfast, grits and sausage and things of that nature, she'll tell you that that's her favorite. But if you ask me, I'm a meat and potatoes guy. So that's why today I'm cooking a pan seared steak with some onions and some garlic, some herbs mixed up into a butter 
some standard string beans, some mashed potatoes, and then we're going to top it all off with some onions and some mushrooms, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Now I'm getting ready to show you the twist to put on your pan-seared steak. Again, we've got onions cooking in the skillet by themselves. We've got mashed potatoes cooking in the pot by themselves. They're ready. The string beans are ready. So now I'm going to show you the twist and what you can do to make your meal jump off the plate by just taking a bowl of mushrooms and adding it to the skillet where the onions are cooking and then plating those right on top of the steak and we'll be right back. So again, as you add your mushrooms to the skillet with the onions, they will start to flavor together and then you'll take a little bit of garlic butter, add it to the mushrooms and the onions, mix it all up into a paste, let the flavor all come together and you'll see why putting that on the side or pouring it on the top of, as we plate the steak will bring you a world of flavor. So again, we've got mashed potatoes in the pot and they're ready. You've got your pan seared steak and it's ready. You've got onions and mushrooms cooking in the skillet and they're all coming together and we're going to add just a little bit of garlic and herb butter right to the skillet with the onions and the mushrooms. You've got your string beans in the back and they're ready. And when I come back I'll show you how to make the most wonderful garnish to the steak by using just onions and mushrooms and a little bit of garlic and herb butter and I'll be right back. You'll see that I've got pan seared steak perfectly cooked mashed potatoes then we have some simple green beans to add to the plate and now for the most important aspect of it is we're going to take this bowl and we're going to take all the onions and the mushrooms and we're going to put them right on top of the steak so you've got a pan seared steak with pan fried onions and mushrooms and they all look fantastic but the most important thing is the final ingredient which is your garlic and herb butter as a garnish and you can top that with a little bit more black pepper shouldn't need any more salt and I'll be right back to close it out again pan seared steak garlic and herb butter mashed potatoes string beans onions mushrooms very simple meal that you can prepare in about 15 minutes this is Pastor Keith with another episode of a pastor's palate thanks for watching have a blessed day